When Notre Dame went to the Cotton Bowl in 1978, almost no one was talking about Irish running backs Vegas Ferguson, Jerome Heavens, or Terry Urich. All the attention was focused on the Heisman Trophy winner, Texas Longhorns running back Earl Campbell, who was never the dominating force he had been during the season. On this day in Dallas, the Irish stuffed Campbell more often than a turkey on Thanksgiving Day. Not only did the Irish defense contain Campbell, but in the days leading up to the game, senior Bob Golick made it clear. He thought the Irish were going to beat the Longhorns soundly. The defense made his words stand up. Right from the start, Texas quarterback Randy McEachern found himself living a nightmare. He fumbled on the game's opening series, and All-American defensive end Ross Browner recovered. McEachern hit Johnny Ham Jones with a pass late in the quarter before Golick and others hit Jones. Ross's younger brother, Jim Browner, recovered. The running back doing most of the damage was Notre Dame's Terry Urich, who went in from six yards out after the Jones fumble to give the Irish a 10-3 second quarter lead, which really got the juices going. On his second carry of the day, Urick delivered a tough run from 10 yards out after McEachern's second fumble to stretch the Irish lead to 17-3. After a third McEachern turnover, Vegas Ferguson got into the act when Joe Montana threw his way. The 17-yard touchdown pass put Notre Dame ahead 24-3. And just to make sure the Longhorns would go to the locker room shell shock, Golick and Luther Bradley blocked a field goal try by Russell Erksleben. Before the day was done, McEachern would be intercepted three times, and the Longhorns would turn the ball over a total of six. Ferguson would follow each of the last two interceptions with touchdown runs. Both he and Jerome Heavens had at least 100 yards rushing, proving once again how everything is bigger in Texas, including the 38-10 beating handed out to a previously undefeated Longhorns team. This marked the fourth time the Irish had beaten a previously undefeated and top-ranked team in a bowl game in the 1970s. Coach Dan Devine, who had been under fire since losing to unranked Ole Miss in the second week of the season, winds up winning the national championship in just his third season at Notre Dame.